Hello and welcome, I am Marumba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode number 78 of Let's Play Hungry Hungry. So I've invited everyone that will just accept outright. Quite a few people like this guy. I'm kind of worried though that we're not going to get enough plot power. We need 80%. And unfortunately they like there's like a total amount of wealth or total amount of uh, plot power altogether in the pool of vassals. And just the more vassals you have, the less each person's worth. So bam bam bam, there's a whole bunch of them. I think we're going to fall real short. And so I'll just end up having to abandon it. We'll see. Yep, yep, yep. Click, click, click. How many do we have? Is that it? Yeah, 39%. It didn't, it didn't feel like enough. Like these guys... I'd probably have to have like pretty much all of the 2 percenters or higher on board. So they like that guy. So yeah, let's just drop it, unfortunately. Kind of a waste of time on my part, but whatever. Okay, well, now what? So, yeah, we're going to continue playing. As far as uh, my granddaughter already, nice. As far as culture conversion goes, or this is religion. We've got a single sum in Usko County up to the north. Some guy needs to stop plotting. So, yes, we've got a single sum in Usko. Uh, we've got, what is this? A little bit of Norse there. A little bit of Norse there. A couple Catholics. Um, all that got converted already. Nothing down here. That's just desert or something. Yeah, desert. We got a single Mazdaki. Little one last bastion of old Tengri. And uh, we're getting real close. So, as far as revolt risk goes, we still have tiny, tiny bits of revolt risk in those counties. Speaking of revolts, there is one. So that did happen here, where? Here? Up here? I'll probably use the fleet of Denmark. Wow, they have a lot of boats. And that should be sufficient. So that was easy. But um, yeah, revolt risk is going to start going away completely. It's just those final counties, really, that have some revolt risk. This one, what is up with you? You're the proper culture, why are you revolting? It has cultural unrest. Okay. Hungry, hungry. Oh, and illusion culture, that's why. The culture of it's off. So yeah, not until all of the culture gets converted also will all of the revolt risk go away. But the religion being almost all Tengri helps a lot. So, it's going to continue to spread. We'll see. All we can really do is keep playing on speed 5. I will not give out claims. No. Stop assassinating each other. Uh, let them rot. Okay, you're wounded. That's sad. The peasants have risen... That's weird, the, the thing keeps popping out up there. Look at that, see right there? Look at that, why is it doing that? Stop that. It's down here. There we go. Oh, he's right next door. Gotcha. It's not my call. Alright, the, um, the Kingdom of Italy. Nice. Carpathia. Nice. What are we looking at for everything else? Aquitaine soon. Three more years here. Okay, stop it. I don't care about these assassinations. They really don't matter to me at all. Now, what have oh my diplomat died, that's right. That's why we're not getting any claims fabric or any uh any flame claims fabricated on these duchies. Um I suppose I mean I could go for No, it doesn't make sense. If we don't get Gavelkind fixed, then I'm always gonna have that problem. So instead, let's try to straighten out some of these, like, duchies and stuff. Like Genoa. Who would I rather have in charge of Italy? One of these guys. How about you? You're going to become the new Italian duke. I'm going to fabricate claims there. 30% chance. Nope. Nope. No prisoners allowed. Actually, I don't, really care. I don't even care about prisoners. So just here, you can have them.
I don't need them for money. And they're not really a threat. I don't think I have the release to prisoner modifier. They don't really care about any of those that I just released. So let's go ahead and uh, let's find someone, like say a count, we can imprison and release. And we get that extra opinion from everyone. And uh, I am now 40, and yet I've got a nice long rain bonus. That's awesome. And has it been five years? It looks like maybe it's been five years. Yeah, they've forgotten about my past transgressions. Although I'm not kind like I used to be. But the release to prisoner modifier gives me that. So factions are probably real. Yeah, they're really far down. My king of Mesopotamia, is, uh, he's got a claim on the Carpathian Empire. Hmm. How are wars looking? Oh, look at this. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is the opportunity that we're looking for. Just four wars? I don't think we're going to get another opportunity like this. So we got to take advantage of this. So we've got a... War to revoke. War to revoke. Oh, shoot. There's, there, there are three wars to revoke. I'm pretty sure that those continue regardless. Oh, man. Stop it. I'm gonna just have to watch this screen like a hawk. And apparently it doesn't refresh automatically. I've gotta keep opening it. It's kind of annoying. Should we dispatch one of the main main body? No. They need to hang out in the capital. The center one should be even bigger. My, pi my spy master is planning retribution against High Chief Miklos for having it. I don't care. People get murdered all the time. I do it. I mean, it's just a normal Saturday morning for me. I don't know what they're complaining about. Um, no. Sorry, I'm wifey. Um, you do not decide who rules and who does stuff. And where does this one live? Over here. Interesting. Okay, that would be a job for this one. Task Force, go! What about that one? Someone else will take care of this one, I bet. Or maybe not. No one seems to be responding. As far as retinue cap goes, we've actually increased it because people are building more holdings. It's possible that we got a little bit more technology, but probably not. That's a lot of points. That's really expensive. And yet we're gaining eh, kind of a decent amount, I guess. You know, even if the... Uh, no, I can't. Never mind. I can't even put the study technology anywhere. You know what I should do? Is uh, we should build some of those, those buildings that give more... Yeah, let's build universities. Universities and monastic schools, church infrastructure level six. Yeah, whatever. Castle walls. Castle walls. Training ground. Training ground. Just build something. I don't care what it is. Just, just keep building. Build things. I could make a whole bunch of republics in this game, but I don't really think I want to. Technically, it would increase the... Oh god, I guess I should. It would increase the overall income of the world, which would be a good thing, because I'd make more money too. And they'd make more money, and they'd build more holdings, and it'd be the utopian society that it should be. Damn. Ah. Uh... See, if I was playing as the Byzantine Empire, then I'd be able to revoke duchies freely. Or, if I was playing as a Sunni or a Shia, I'd be able to re freely revoke duchies. Which reminds me, I had another idea. I was curious if people wanted to see. I was thinking I might play and do a series where I play as a Muslim and I, I abide by the rules of decadence. Like... I don't game it at all. I do. It'd be more of a roleplay type series where we follow the rules and, uh, oh hey, someone took care of it. So we don't like 
don't just blanket murder. Like, I could. I could imprison people and just murder my brothers and all that. But instead of doing that, we'd play, like, an honest Muslim or whatever and, and just not do that. And just land them and wait until the decadent system is broken and just full of full of problems and I don't know it could be kind of chaotic could be a good roleplay series might be fun I don't care about you anymore I'm sure oh gosh who's this now okay go away 16 year old boy an ugly one married to my 33 year old sister nice Fewer claims, I'm hoping. My granddaughter. Wow, she needs an educator already. Well, we'll go with the, uh... My daughter-in-law is pregnant again. How about we go with, uh, I'd rather have my wife do it. She's a gray eminence. It'd be a better education. These guys are single dukes, so they're not likely to... To respond. Hey, you used the proper Burnett. Nice job. Good work. Alright, so for 2,000 gold I can get a claim on the county of... Where's this? County of... I don't want a county. If I ignore you, what will you do? Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore this guy. We're gonna, we're gonna crush his army. Just defeat him entirely. Look at that attrition. Wow, that's a lot of attrition. Oh jeez, I can't find any any places really. Alright, fine, we'll have to just cut it a bit. And go like that. So I'm gonna just beat his army and then I'm gonna ignore him when he tries to surrender. See if the problem just goes away. So yep, yep, yep. Come on now. Listen to my commands. Listen, listen to my commands. Go up here. See, he's gonna pop up right there. And I'm gonna ignore him and see what happens when it goes away. Is it, does the war just auto-resolve? That would be ideal. Away. That's perfect. I don't even have to do anything about it. Sweet. Good job. Surrender. I accept. Auto accept. Carp. Carp. Carpathia. It's monstrous. After a hundred years, Kiva. It's happening. I want it to happen faster. Arabian Empire. No. Nope. This is all for me. Mesopotamia. The thousand gold. Sweet. I wonder how quickly... Well, I know how quickly I could just get up to a hundred grand. I don't really feel like building out all of the holdings. Because that would be... That would be a lot of, um... A lot of micro. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Surrender. Surrender, surrender, surrender. So why is it? I think these are still... Oh, it's it's just reflecting it here, too. Active Crown Laws, Empire. Active Crown Laws, Empire. Yeah, Active Crown Laws are the Kingdom of France. See, that's how it works. So, let's find a kingdom that's currently created. Like, say, uh, let's find a kingdom that's part of our, our realm already. Like, uh... Here, Mesopotamia. Okay, so if you go here, Active Crown Laws, Empire of Carpathia. So compare that to, say, the Persian Empire. See, the Kingdom of Persia is under absolute crown authority because it's not de jure part of the Empire of Carpathia. 
as soon as it actually fully drifts in, our crown law will supersede their crown law, just like it's happening here. So whatever laws I dictate end up becoming the laws of the du jour empire. So it's going to take a long time, like, a, like we've kind of covered multiple times, but eventually everyone's going to have to abide by my crown law. That's the plan, at least. Greece. Cool. It's happening. Yeah, are we putting that one? I don't really want to... Ah, yes, yeah. Do I want to dispatch an army? Nope, that looks like a big one. It's coming down. They're coming to take care of it. Good job. New Chancellor. Okay, well, how about we do... Well, no. I've already decided this, haven't I? How are we doing on wars? Yeah, lots of wars. Why, why won't they just accept the Utopia? I mean... Why do they have to fight? <laughs> says says the guy who conquered the entire planet. <laughs> Why does everyone feel like fighting so much? I don't understand. Oh gosh, stop it, cousin. Yep, yep, yep. Pretty much everyone in prison now are just the rebellion people. Oh, charitable. That's a good one. Lowers income from the annual income tax, but that's fine. My mother is dead. We will miss her. Oh, God. It's like that event is the one that pops up all the time now. Pick up another eight units of light cavalry. Let's do it. Abyssinia. As well as Africa. And Mauritania. And Syria. And Georgia. Wow! Sicily. Serbia. Bulgaria. And... Oh my god. <laughs> wow! How did that all happen at once? That's crazy. I don't remember doing that many kingdoms all at once, did I? Jeez, that was some crazy du jour drift. That's insane. Getting there. Peace is coming. Only 26,000 supply cap here. Yes, yes, we accept. I need to go hunting right away, sure. I got wounded. Is that a plot, maybe? So, yeah, long rain is really, really high. Um, the law... the Okay, it's a claim war, claim war, war against the tyranny, war to revoke. So these three I could assassinate out of, these two I could not. Tyranny and revocation I can't get out of. Oh gosh, I just died. Well, that's interesting. I, I had an effective wound. Well, I think that's a good, a good enough place as any to take a break, then. I am now Emperor Burnett the... Oh, God, stupid A. Instead of Burnett the Sixth, I'm Burnett the First, because I can't spell the A right. So this is technically Burnett the Sixth. We've got tons of money. Lowest vassal opinion is at negative 13, and we'll see where we go from here. I'm going to take a break. I'll see you in a little bit. Thanks for watching. See you soon.